Whoa, what's up guys, Ramen King here with another episode of Tales of Asperia. Alright, I'm going to get something out of the way first before I start the video up. So, there's this thing going around about these re-edits for a ca character from Persona 5. Now, I won't link the person's stuff in, his, in the description because they're kind of a piece of shit. So, I'd rather not give that piece of shit fucking attention or any kind of clout. You can probably tell who I'm talking about if you go on my Twitter. Anyways, long story short, don't edit somebody else's artwork and then claim that, you know, you are you should be hired by Atlas and all this other shit, man. Fuck out of here. And then also, to the people who keep going on and on about Atlas being on some quote-unquote horny shit, please, respectively, fuck off. <laughs> Like, seriously, I, I, I wanted to make a video, and I am going to make one, but I'm just letting you guys know right now, I'm fully aware of the situation there. Anybody who edits somebody else's artwork can eat the biggest of dicks, because it's really fucking disrespectful. Now, there are some people who are, quote-unquote, defending this, and honestly, I don't agree with that notion that we should be okay with any of our work being edited over just because somebody else didn't fucking like it. I would have been fine with it if you drew your own shit not edit over somebody else's. Also, using the excuse that it's not somebody else's work and it's just official artwork that was made for the game is not a valid excuse. It is literally an excuse that some people have been using primarily because of the fact that, oh no, my work has been like edited over. Yes, it was. And for some odd reason, apparently it's okay to defend people doing that. I don't understand the logic there in the slightest because that was your hard work that they're editing over and then calling you a fucking creep and shit like what kind of bullshit and I, I don't understand this whole thing where apparently anybody who complains about it is automatically the bad guy when people have been editing over people's artwork call and then Having it in the description, you know, like, don't edit my artwork or repost, but you'll do the same to other artists because, wah, I'm a crybaby bitch. So, yeah, that's my whole sense on that whole thing. So, yeah, I'll have a video out sometime soon about it because it's something I feel like that artists shouldn't have to just sit there and take just because, oh, maybe they didn't like the design and they wanted to change it. No, that's not fucking okay. And I know there's some artists... And one of them specifically, where it comes up about the whole, you know, it's fine to do so, but don't do it out of malice. I don't appreciate that shit because that's fucking disrespectful and normalizing that kind of behavior is not okay. That shouldn't be normalized. Like, let people draw what they want to. Don't re-edit somebody else's original work, no matter the fucking situation. Anyways, guys, let's go to Osp let's go to Ospio. Whoa! Well, indeed. Damn, this is huge. It really feels like it reaches the sky. And this thing was just sleeping in the ground near Ospio. I can't believe it. That must be a life-absorbing formula expanding around it. It looks that way. This isn't good. It looks like it came together pretty quickly. So there's not much time left. Perfect! People always heave ho with a deadline looming over them. That might be true, but it still puts us in hot water. If it's absorbing life from everyone, that should affect us as well. Estelle? The spirits. They've swathed us in their power. So we should be fine as long as the spirit's power is greater than that formula. Then we just need to run right to the top before that changes. That'll exhaust us before we even face the Autophagos. Can't we just get on Ba'ul and fly up to the top? I doubt it would affect Ba'ul, but we probably couldn't take it. You just don't want to climb up. Of course not. Who do you think I am? Sorry, old man, but it looks like we're walking. Yay. We must brace ourselves and press forward. Yeah, don't let your guard down. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead. And let me actually grab this item over here, because I think that's supposed to... Yeah. 
And Tully Bottles. Oh yeah, before I actually continue, I gotta do this real quick. There we go. The ancient civilization of Goraios. What must the people have been like who lived in an age that produced buildings like this? Well, I'm no expert on their lives, but I have some ideas from the Blastia we've excavated. Except for the Autophagos, from a scientific perspective, their civilization was nearly perfect. Their Blastia would have given them power equal to that of the Entelechea. Oh yeah, otherwise the Entelechea would have wiped them out. It's hard to believe that the people who were so scared of monsters, who locked themselves inside of a barrier, could have been so mighty. People got too much power and destroyed what they built in the process. It's not that uncommon. But there's one part of their legacy we're still paying for. Yep. They left behind the Autophagos for folks who came after them to deal with. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but that doesn't make it right. You take responsibility. We... We'll have to own up to whatever choices we make from now on, too. That's right. If we're gonna make a world without Blastia, we gotta make sure it works. We'll do a proper job with our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, before we actually go into the dungeon, I got something for you guys. Now, I'm not streaming on Twitch right now because I'm tired and I'm only gonna be recording a minor bit. So, you know, get out of here and we're going to be teleporting over to, uh, actually, yeah, Ancient Tower of Terragon. Yeah, so that's where we are. So, what we need to do is go over here. You know, let, get us down from Baal, and then go inside. So, you probably don't know where this place is. So, I went over here before. I couldn't go in properly, uh, because... What the fuck? Actually, I'm... I don't have any other costumes for him. I'll have to do that sometime soon to everybody's costumes. Guardian of the Truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, everybody's in their normal outfit. What the heck? Hold on. Colonel. General. Oh, okay. So I had to be like... Captain, General, and then Captain, I'm surprised Commandant isn't around here. Alright, let's get moving. So, what we're going to actually do, come in here, and then talk to this lady. Welcome, it costs 50,000 gold per person to enter. Will you be visiting the Springs today? We don't need to. We don't need to pay for repeat. So that's six people, right? Here you go. Three hundred thousand. What? Okay, somebody lied to me because somebody told me I had to get five hundred thousand gold. But whatever. Um. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The ladies' bath is on the right, and the men's bath is on the left. Enjoy. Come on, hurry up! Let's go inside. Patience is a virtue, youngin. Grown-ups uh, move at a slower pace than you do. This resort seems to have a, a very peaceful feeling to it, don't you think? Yeah, I checked it out. Checked out that bamboo fountain over there. This place is pretty zen. Come on, we can talk about all that stuff once we get into the water. Let's go. Carol, you can go on ahead if you want. We'll be in soon. Okay, sure. See you outside. Ah, youth. So pure and innocent. Yeah, that's what I like most about Captain Carol. But is it really okay for your chest to get wet, old man? Eh, I don't think there'll be any problem. Besides, a little electrocution is good for you. Stay out of the water while I'm in there. Hey, guys, guys, you won't, you're not gonna believe this. What's all the fuss, youngin? You're not gonna tell me something fantastic like we can see in the other women's bath, right? That's exactly what it is. There's a hole in the middle of the wall separating the two baths. Saints be praised. Boy, why didn't you say that sooner? Hurry, hurry, a water's awaiting. And I guess the best thing about the old man is his preferred enthusiasm. I can't believe it. 
You can see through the partition. I've died and gone to heaven. Can't hear anything. Maybe they haven't come in yet? Or did they already leave? Ah, done so soon? Yeah, that was refreshing. What the hell was that bath anyway? Uh, why are you so mad, Rita? We overheard what Carol was going on about. That's why we got out of the water so soon. I don't see what the problem would have been, giving the boys a little show myself. <laughs> We've could have given... We could have gotten Carol and Raven around our little fingers. I'm pretty adorable, do you say myself? Patty, no. Bad Patty. You're gonna get me sent to jail. What are you talking about? You realize they could have seen us from uh, from their side, didn't you? That's why you got out so quickly. I wouldn't have mind stay, staying in. But I thought it'd be more fun to watch your reaction from the outside of the path once you found out. Judith, you're mean. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm never getting in that perverted hot spring again! Yo, can we actually go in? Yes, we can! I don't think we got any costumes out of this. I think we just got the usual, like, hot spring thing. Yeah, nothing on this side. I don't think we get anything for for the others. Yeah, I don't think you get anything. Hero Princess, yep, everything else is pretty much the same. Oh, right, that's why their stats are so low. Give me a second. Now, let me see what their stats look like now. Yeah, that seems about right. I didn't make their stats crazy high because I have plans for the arena, but I don't want to go crazy high like I usually do. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I don't understand the purpose of this. Maybe? Hold on. There was something I could check earlier, right? Something left something behind. A small white fabric. Ah, no costumes. Nothing here. I thought there'd be more over here. Yeah, I would have thought there would be more here, but doesn't seem like it. Like, besides items, there's really nothing here. I think off camera as well. I'm probably gonna start grinding out for uh, in-game weapons. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. What's up? Do you think you might be able to show me the item you have? Uh, perhaps the luxury toy series to cut your eye. Oh, so it's one of those after all. I'm jealous. Uh, what the heck's so great about this toy? They're pretty hard to find these days. You know, it's quite a shame. Uh, didn't you know? I heard you can get them from a capsule machine right over there. What? Re really? It was just a rumor, mind you. I tried my best, but I didn't have a bit of luck. I thought perhaps you'd gotten one from that machine... Of an air machine. Nope, it was a reward for the work that Bravest Barrier did. 
Brave Vesperia? Is that the name of a guild? Uh, we really dabble in a little bit of everything. Guild. Perhaps it wouldn't be too much trouble to ask you for a favor, then. No problem, no problem. Anyone who shares the same interest as Old Raven is someone who's deserving of a little assistance. Do you think you can get 11, uh, get all 11 items in the Luxury Toy Series for me? You can't buy them in, well, but you can't, can't you, st uh, eh. But can't you buy them in stores? Uh, and we don't know if they're even in the capsule machine. Perhaps, but there, there are people out there who have them. And I've heard there are rumors that there are capsule machines in other parts of the world as well. A.K.A. Bandai Island. I know about those. You put in gold or some other thing uh, to get anything out of... Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? I know about those. You gotta put in gold or some other stuff in, in to get anything out of the machine. So you know, uh, so you know more, then please, look for these toys for me. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Also, let me give you this as part of a reward. Tiara. I get, I got that in a capsule, but it's not really my style. Young lady, I think it would be quite fetching on here. Thank you very much. It looks like it matches Matches his clothes very nicely. Now that we've gotten a reward for the job, I guess I guess we gotta do it. We'll look for the toys for you. Thank you so much. I guess we can try it out. Fine boots. Sea statue br okay, so we got that. Okay, nothing else here. So it was only for that one cutscene? I thought you got uh, something else from that, but I guess not. Oh boy. How could all of this be kept underground for so long? The reason so many Blastia were excavated from around Ospio must have been because this was here. The ancient Garayo civilization. This is more amazing than anything in a book. Something feels strange. I know this is a weapon, because he's going to use it against the Autofagos. But from the outside, it looked like a city. Did they turn an entire city into a weapon? Maybe they had to sacrifice such a huge city so they could stand a chance against the Autofagos. This place is enormous. So many people must have lived here. And now, one man is holed up in here to destroy every last person. Duke. I'd rather not meet him if we don't have to. That soldier was already a hero in the Great War. Who knows how much stronger he's gotten since. What are you talking about? We'll just kill the Autofagos before we fight Duke. Then Duke won't have a reason to sacrifice humanity! I hope so. And here comes the final dungeon of the game, which is the most annoying place in the game. Is oh boy, are these teleporters great. Also, it's the only place where you can get everybody else's devil arms.
call it light dragon destruction when it's called radiant dragon fine even in the context of the Japanese ver a version of his voice I don't get why it's changed I, I don't get it know if it's just me does this flame sound weird here to anybody else i think it's because i'm so used to him not being a main party member but he sounds weird here like some of his lines feel either compressed or just straight up weird i don't know maybe it's just me maybe Actually, what level are these guys? Level 60, yep. I should have got levitation while I had the chance, but I didn't. Swift and certain. Yeah, I mean, this would be a decent place to level up, but I did level up quite a bit off camera, so now I'm like level 68. Uh, I'm gonna actually switch Yuri in for you. And since we're in here, I can wear some of the costumes I got while off camera. Yeah, because you can actually apparently go back and grab some of these costumes from just going to Bandai Island. I know, I know, I should have Wow, wow, wait, Raven has like... Wow, we have like resistance to almost everything. Well, except for Repeat for some reason. Maybe it's my equipment? I'm not 100% sure why I have a resistance to all the four common elements. Okay. Let's eliminate them. Not bad. Not bad. 
Alright, also, another thing I really need to remember that I also did off camera was get Final Gale. Yeah, a lot of the stuff I got was off camera or it was on stream and I didn't could save the uh, footage. I might have to remove Final Gale. Uh, but Guardian Field. Are you okay? Are you okay? Merciless conflagration. Burn the very souls of my enemies. Well, to all creatures, I am so good to make you fly. My tail and smash! Coil resplendent, list mystic drug! Blah, blah, blah. Crimson, you okay? Reaper You're using too many arts. Somebody heal me. Go, you're done. I'm using this. And another. Okay. Yeah, I think story wise we're kind of near yeah, we're pretty much near the end. The moment Duke brings this place up, yeah, you're basically at the end of the game and I just need to get everything together. And yeah, I turned it to hard because. <laughs> huh? What are you writing? Item names? Yes, I'm working on the collector's book. Look how many items we have already. Wow, you filled in a lot. It must be fun since you like books so much. Well, keep up the good. No, from what I can see, yes. It looks like it's only about halfway complete. What? H halfway? Keep on working on it, and come back when you've made some real progress. <laughs> uh, I'll fill this book up all the way, and then I'll make you eat your words. Didn't this used to be your book, Rita? <laughs> yeah, it was Rita's book. I don't get why Rita's got her panties in a bunch. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Actually, yeah, Carol... I'm going to switch you out with... Actually, repeat would work here. Just due to the fact he's able to uh, see people's health, health bars the moment... Uh, yeah, the moment they're uh, brought up. Alright, let me see what's in here. Magic Lens. Oh, fuck. Do I have limit bottles? No, I do not. Or I think I do. Yeah, I do not have any limit bottles. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. You're done. Actually, what level are you? 59. 
This is gonna get annoying real fast, isn't it? Uh, what? Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. <laughs> Get the fuck back here. So I have to destroy certain monsters in these tanks, I guess? Okay, that's locked, so I can't go there yet. 